You got chuck roast, you got potatoes, add some Mexican flair to that, and you got some chuck roast Mexican tacos. Let me show you how easy it is to make. What's poppin' my YouTube fam? I feel like it's been forever since I spoke to you guys, but it's only been like four or five days. But y'all, today, we are back with some of my shenanigans, okay? I got the taste for tacos, okay? But I think I'm gonna put like a little twist on these. I'm doing chuck roast tacos today, you guys. Mexican chuck roast tacos, okay? So my twist, my take on a nice little Mexican street taco. So let's get started. So we have our beautiful Chuck Roast. Beauty, look at that beauty. Look at that, what a beaut. Okay, let's get the seasoning. Now let's start with, wait till I show y'all this. So y'all know I'm so in love with seasonings. Wait till I show y'all what I found. You know we using it today. So now we're going to start with some, or first, we're going to start with some simple salt and pepper. Y'all know I mix my salt and pepper together. Makes it easy. Salt and pepper mix. Boom. We are going to season this generously. Hope everybody is doing spectacular. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for your girl. Hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Okay. I appreciate you guys. All right, so that's looking good. Season all sides, all sides. Season your meat. Okay, look at that, all right? Got that nice and seasoned right there. Now let's go in with some granulated garlic. Granulated, just like that. And. Get that. Get all the sides, y'all. Get all the sides. All the sides. Same, 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 Okay. Now, y'all, look what I done found. Now, this go hit different with this, with these tacos. Look at this. Y'all know, y'all know I'm a seasoning fanatic. Okay. If I'm not using my all-purpose seasoning blend, okay, I'm using some other kind, of course. But look, y'all. Mexican taco truck seasoning it has garlic cilantro and cumin in it a hint of sea salt low sodium this and i smelt it already guys this is about to hit different mccormick always coming out with that drug now this probably been out y'all but i just seen it for myself i just um ran across it in my local grocery store so y'all know this is about to hit different Let's season it. Then we could be like jive generous with it too because like they said on the back, look at that. Create global flavors without the guilt because it's low sodium. Okay, y'all, so let's go in with that and it smells great. You can smell every seasoning they said that was in there, y'all. Press it down in that meat. Press it down in there, okay. Oh, it smells. Oh, oh my God, this is about to be, y'all. This is about to hit different. This is about to hit different. Okay, season that up. Okay, press it down in your meat. Try to get all up in them crevices. You know what I'm saying? Get up in them crevices. Get up in them crevices. Okay, y'all. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. y'all know what we doing today. My favorite new gadget, the Insta Insta. So listen, y'all, in here is beef broth, okay? This is what I use, is beef broth and water. It's beef base, and you mix it with uh, water, and you got beef broth. If you do not have beef broth, use regular water. It's really not that serious, like I always say. Am I going to sear my um, roast? Absolutely not. Um, you can sear yours. I really don't. I know it locks in the flavor. It makes it more uh, whatever. I mean, no. I'm not doing that today. I don't see. I don't find nothing wrong with doing that, but we ain't doing that today. So let's take our beautiful rose, right? 
We're gonna nestle that bad boy right down in that beef base. Nestle that right on down. Get that extra seasoning, because we ain't wasting none of these good seasonings. Get all that. Get all that. And I could have just poured, I could have just put the roast in with the beef stock and then added all my seasonings after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. Cook your food the way you want to cook your food. Okay? So, y'all, here's our chuck roast, our beef stock, and our beautiful seasoning. Now, we are going to add in some onions. Okay. And I'm also going to add a few more ingredients, but I have to take you guys over to the stove for that and um, show you what they are to try to make these Mexican tacos a little bit more authentic. So, let me get you guys over to the stove. Be right back, y'all. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, we are at the stove. And I want to uh, build up more flavor in these Mexican uh, little Chuck Rose street tacos, if you will. So what I am going to add is a few chilies. Um, it's a lot uh, it's a lot of recipes going around now with the Briera tacos I really did not want to make those because it just seemed like it was just a little tad bit too oily for me and I don't know I just don't want to try those but we are definitely going to this is what I'll be saying about uh, recipes take recipes and make it your own you know what I'm saying you can have all the ingredients um, to make up Briera taco but you you could you could put your little twist on it. You know what I'm saying? Do you be creative? So I'm having fun. Let's have some fun. So into this boiling water, we are going to add. Here's the um, chilies back here that I'm using. We're gonna add some uh, ancho chilies. Our ball chilies. Excuse me, guys, if I miss if I'm not uh, pronouncing these uh, names right. And this is the Guajillo chilies. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to boil these until they get um, soft. And then, just for about five minutes or so, I'm going to boil them until they get soft. And then I'm going to dissect them and try to get those seeds out, you guys. And then what we're going to do, I'm not even going to like mash this up or whatever in the food processor. I'm going to throw those softened chilies right over in our Instant Pot and just let everything just cook together, okay? So let's just throw these right in. And see, another reason why I didn't want to do the, <clears throat> the Briera is because I really can't do spicy, spicy food. I cannot. And it seems like those is just like super duper spicy and I don't want that. So that's why I'm only using a couple of chilies, honey. We only using a couple just for flavor. A little goes a long way with these powerful um, chilies, y'all. Okay? So just let that get softened. Or let that soften up, excuse me. So let me just switch pots really quick, you guys. Put that over here. And then we can put that over here. So what we have here is just some regular, degular um, diced potatoes. Frozen um, diced potatoes, hash browns. Let me show you guys. Right here, you guys. Okay, southern style, southern style uh, hash browns, already diced. Easy, easy meals, easy meals. Now, if you want to get your potato, peel it, dice it up nice and cute, do you. Do whatever you want to do, okay? So here's our potatoes. I got some butter in here. We'll get this up to a nice sear. We'll get a nice brown color on these uh, potatoes, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Wait till y'all see what I'm about to do with this. Listen, we having some fun today. We having some fun today. We having some fun today. Okay, so let's get that butter incorporated just like this. And these don't take long at all, like at all. And I had mine um, out getting room temp so they're not even frozen so these are literally as soon as you get a brown color on this on these they're gonna be uh, done so you know season everything y'all we're going back in with that um, Mexican taco seasoning right 
back in with that. Maybe y'all can see here. Okay, we're going back in with that. Okay. And then we're also going to go in with some tahini. Going in with a little bit of tahini. Very limey, very citrusy, very Mexican. Okay, season those potatoes up just like that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Give it a stir. Nice little stir. Okay, nice little stir. Look at those pretty potatoes, they pretty already. Dang, y'all, what the heck did y'all see? Yo, why did my um, knuckle touch the outer edge of this pan and the reflex was out of control? Did y'all see that? I know y'all did. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get some kitchen scars in here. Kitchen tattoos, they call them. Burning myself all up. Jeez. Be careful, y'all. Okay, so, flatten those out. So what we gonna do is let these potatoes go and uh, get a nice sear on them, get a nice brown crust on them. We're gonna let those chilies right here continue to soften up. We're gonna let those cool off. We're gonna get the seeds out. And then y'all, I will be back to show you guys what we are going to do next with our ch Mexican Chuck Roast Tacos. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam, I am back. And look at my brother. Look, he's so scared to get in the camera. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back. We got our Instapot right here with our uh, beautiful seasoned um, chuck roast and our onions and our beef broth. We got these um, chilies that I softened up so I could just de-seed. We have some Spanish paprika right here and we have some a little bit of hot chili powder use as much as you want y'all know i do not do measurements and i'm also going to add in this um jarred uh salsa just to give it um sort of a thicker consistency i mean you could go ahead and chop up your onions and your and everything and your tomatoes if you want to i'm not so let's get to dc in these chilies Okay, this is a very strategical move. Look at all them seeds right there. All them seeds out. And like I said, you can put them in a the grinder if you want. I'm just gonna throw them in my Instapot and let them cook down with the onions and the, and the meat. These joints powerful too, because I can smell them. Goodness. Not using a lot of these. Won't have me on fire. This just looked like something that had have you on fire. Look, y'all. Okay, I got the seed out of that one. All the seeds out of that one. So I'm just like ripping it with my hands. And then I'm just going to toss them right in. What's this one? Yeah, this joint look even stronger. Get the seeds off. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Seeds off. And I'm just gonna rip it up. Guess it don't matter if you get one or two seeds, if you miss one or two seeds. And we got the little baby ones. I'm just gonna squeeze the seeds out. That, they should just come out. And these are probably the hottest because they're the smallest. Okay. I'm popping seeds everywhere, but it don't matter. Because if you don't get your kitchen dirty while you're cooking, you ain't cooking. Ain't that right, Mike? Little brother in the cut. Scared to show his face. Scared, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you wanna if you want me to introduce my brother to you guys. Let me know in the comments and on the next video, I'm going to try to get him in. <laughs> oh, and if I can't get him in, if y'all comment that y'all want to meet my little bro, if I can't get him in, I'm going to put up a truckload of pictures, a collage of pictures so you can see him. 
before on my next video <laughs> okay y'all so these the I should have cut this open with the scissors and uh because those is very hard to uh DC those small ones hold on y'all Okay, y'all, so we got our chilies in. Take this, dispose of it. We don't need that anymore. Let's move our Instapot closer. Make sure y'all can see what's happening. See all that good stuff up in there? So now, y'all, what we gonna do, we adding all this Spanish paprika, all of it. Y'all know I don't do measurements. It looks like it's about not quite a half a cup. That might be a half a cup. And we're gonna add, this is about a tablespoon of hot chili powder. Okay, and we're also gonna add this jarred, thick and chunky salsa, because I'm gonna love the consistency it gives. Like I said, feel free to um, Chop up your tomato, chop up your onion, chop up your jalapenos, and make your homemade salsa. You know, do it however you want to do it for your household. So I'm just giving it a nice little quick stir. Just like that. Nice little quick stir. This smells good already, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Man, I be creating some stuff. Hold on, what's this? this? Oh, that's that chili. Them chilies go cook down. This Instapot about to, uh, that is crazy. Okay, y'all, so look. Ugh. I don't want to spill it. So hopefully y'all can see. That's what it's looking like. We got in the Chuck Roses at the bottom, of course, just chilling, hanging out. So I'm about to pop this in the Instapot. We probably going to cook it for like 35, 45 minutes until that beef is nice and tender. And I will be back to show y'all the next step. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube fam. Here is our beautiful Chuck Roast out of the Instapot. So now what I'm about to do, as you can see, is shredding right apart. Tender as ever. Doing this with one hand, y'all. So I'm about to shred this meat apart. And here is our beautiful broth. Just flavor. Look at those onions and focus onions and peppers and all that seasoning in there so let's get to assembling you guys i'm excited stay tuned okay family lamb let's get to assembling these bad boys so what i'm gonna do is assemble one for you guys and then i'm gonna go off camera and of course i'll be back to show you guys the finished product so these are our cute little street taco shells that we're using just little tiny little things so that's the shells that we'll be using today you can feel free to use corn tortillas or whatever um off camera i already went ahead and toasted these bad boys so i am going to I hope you can see this tender beef shred the beef comes right just falling right apart shred it right apart just like that Spread it right apart. So there we have our beautiful beef, right? So to start, let us see, let us see. We are going to, let me get a glove, y'all. Let me get a glove. So now what we are gonna do is start with our beautiful taco shell. And we are going to lay some of that beautiful, beautiful meat little tiny shell so don't get too crazy lay some meat down just like that so cute and when I think of chuck roast I think of potatoes so that's why we went ahead earlier and we seared off those beautiful diced potatoes right just like that so now we have our beef we have our potatoes in there right so now let's go in with Let's see. I think I want to go in with our cheese. So what I went ahead and did, also off camera, is I melted down um, and made a cheese sauce. This is Velveeta cheese. Let me give it a stir. This is Velveeta cheese and some nicely fresh chopped chives. So let's 
get that on there and that's what that cheese sauce is looking like nice beautiful silky Velveeta with some nice green chives in there so now let me get my spoon hope it doesn't drip everywhere okay and then we're just gonna lay that cheese sauce right in that taco and this is just the way I'm doing mine you guys feel free to add add whatever cheese you like you know or minus whatever ingredients you don't like um, right here I chopped up some fresh tomatoes as well as some red onion just to give it a little bite and what I did it I put a um, just a smidge of um, Italian dressing in here just to wet those up a little bit so now you have those fresh nice crunchy veggies okay that's what that's looking like I don't like fresh cilantro so I'm not using fresh cilantro you guys I hate so I don't like the taste of it I'm not gonna say I hate it but I just don't like it um, in the fresh form so I'm gonna do away with that and then what we're gonna do is should have had a different spoon and then what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some of this reserved broth here that we cooked our roast in and then we're just gonna this is probably gonna make a mess but then we are just gonna lay just a smidgen is all you need just a smidge and this you guys is my chuck Mexican chuck roast tacos I'm all over the place with my hand so let me assemble them and then I can give you guys a better view okay guys I'll be back all right YouTube fam here is the finished results we paired it with some sour cream here's our beautiful I'm talking about flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor I'm talking flavor we got a little bit of extra cheese sauce right there y'all please stop playing listen they so good listen I'm not even I'm not even gonna lie to you they are bomb y'all know I didn't buff like two of them already look at this one y'all oh my gosh mmm y'all Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.